Gilligan's Island star is almost 103, and he's still around. The artists listed here were major stars during the golden age of show business, which lasted from the 1910s to the 1960s. And believe it or not, they're all still alive. Just because you don't hear much about them anymore doesn't mean that they've died. In fact, many of them are still working in the entertainment business. William Daniels, 95. You may not recognize his name, but you're most definitely acquainted with his character, Mr. Feeney, from the 90s comedy Boy Meets World. He recently appeared as Kit in the 2020 HBO Max film Super Intelligence, and he repeated his role as Mr. Feeney in the Disney spin-off program Girl Meets World in 2014. Sophia Loren, 88. Sophia Loren, an Italian beauty, was one of Hollywood's it girls during the Golden Age. Her notable performances include Two Women in 1961 and Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow in 1963. She made an appearance in an Italian short film version of the play The Human Voice in 2013, and she'll appear in the Italian film The Life Ahead in 2020. Anthony Hopkins, 85. Sir Philip Anthony Hopkins is best known as Hannibal Lecter in the 1991 picture The Silence of the Lambs. But what's he been up to recently? He portrayed Odin in Thor Ragnarok in 2017, and he's scheduled to play Dr. Philip Luz in Elise. Bob Barker, 99. Bob Barker is well known for his tenure as the Price is Right presenter from 1972 to 2007. From 1956 to 1974, he presented Truth or Consequences. In an episode of SpongeBob SquarePants, Barker voiced the character Bob Barnacle. Julie Andrews, 87. It's difficult to keep track of all the legendary roles that Dame Julie Andrews has played throughout the years. Among the most well-known are The Sound of Music and Mary Poppins. She portrayed Carathin in Aquaman in 2018 and will play Marlena in Minions The Rise of Gru. She shows no indications of slowing down, and to be honest, we're fine with that. Dick Van Dyke, 97. Dick Van Dyke proved that he can do it all as an actor, singer, writer, comic, and dancer. He began his career in the entertainment industry on radio and Broadway, and later as Rob Petrie on The Dick Van Dyke Show. On the TV show Kidding, he recently voiced Hopscotch, the Sasquatch. Mel Brooks, 96. Mel Brooks, born Melvin Kaminsky, has had a successful seven-decade career in show business. He even got on the EGOT list, which includes persons who have won an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. Brooks recently played Dracula's father, Vlad, in Hotel Transylvania. Tony Bennett, 96. Tony Bennett's distinctive singing voice has touched the hearts of people of all ages. He's still going strong, and in 2014, he recorded an album called Cheek to Cheek with Lady Gaga. John Voight, 84. We're grateful that John Voight, Angelina Jolie's father, refuses to retire from acting. He's been portraying Mickey and Ray Donovan since 2013, and he's expected to appear in Roe v. Wade. Tommy Lee Jones, 76. Tommy Lee Jones is most recognized for his appearances in Batman Forever, The Fugitive, and Men in Black, with his work in The Fugitive earning him many honors. Jones has recently landed parts as Duke Montana in The Comeback Trail and Jimmy Cleats in Wander. Billy D. Williams, 85. Fans of Star Wars will be glad to learn that Billy D. Williams, aka Lando Calrissian, is still alive and well. He's appeared in several films throughout the years, most notably reprising his role as Lando in Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker in 2019. Marla Gibbs, 91. Marla Gibbs is best remembered for her appearances in the television series The Jeffersons, which aired from 1975 until 1985. She's earned a slew of important prizes for her work as an actress, most notably in the films Please Stand By and Love Jacked. John Aston, 92. You may recall John Aston, who IMDb describes as unusually mustachioed as Gomez Adams from the Adams Family. He studied mathematics at Johns Hopkins University before discovering his love of performing. In 2017, he appeared as Uncle Dudley in Justice League action. Richard Chamberlain, 88. Richard Chamberlain rose to prominence as Ralph de Briscassart in the miniseries The Thornbirds. 
He's subsequently won three Golden Globes throughout the course of his career, which is still going strong. He appeared in Twin Peaks and Finding Julia in 2019. He co-starred in the drama Echoes of the Past with Max von Sydow in 2020, but the film's release date was pushed back due to the endemic. Tippi Hedren, 93. Tippi Hedren began her career as a model before being found and featured in Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds in 1963. She's appeared in over 80 movies and TV episodes since then, with her most recent efforts being the 2013 TV sitcom Cougar Town and the 2017 film The Ghost and the Whale. Kim Novak, 90. Kim Novak was born in 1933, was slated to be the next Rita Hayworth for Columbia Pictures. She made her cinematic debut in the 1954 picture Pushover, but she's most recognized for her role as Madeline Elster and Judy Barton in Alfred Hitchcock's 1958 thriller Vertigo. Novak is now a photographer, poet, and visual artist rather than an actor. George Hamilton, 83. George Hamilton has appeared in over 120 films, including Love Possessed and Love at First Bite. In 2019, he appeared as Jack in Grace and Frankie and Spencer Blitz in American Housewife. Eva Marie Saint, 98. Eva Marie Saint is best remembered for her roles in On the Waterfront by Ilya Kazan and North by Northwest by Alfred Hitchcock. She's one of the few remaining stars from Hollywood's Golden Age. Saint took a break from acting for more than a decade before returning in 1986 to portray Tom Hanks' character's mother in Nothing in Common. She was recently seen as the elderly Katara in Nickelodeon's The Legend of Korra. Anne Margaret, 81. This Swedish American actress is well known for her singing and dancing abilities, earning her the moniker The Female Elvis. She's been in Bye Bye Birdie, Viva Las Vegas, and has done various Elvis colors, notably Heartbreak Hotel. She appeared in Ray Donovan and Happy. Chubby Checker, 81. Apart from having the finest name ever, Chubby Checker is most known as a rock and roll singer and dancer who popularized the twist dance technique. Throughout the 2000s, he released a few singles here and there, and in 2015, he created Rock and Roll to the Rescue, a show dedicated to animal rescue. Bob Newhart, 93. Bob Newhart is a stand-up comedian noted for his deadpan approach, but he's also acted. He first appeared on the Bob Newhart show as Robert Hartley and has subsequently been in Elf, Catch-22, The Rescuers, and six episodes of The Big Bang Theory. He's lately appeared in the TV programs Young Sheldon and Filthy Rich. Nancy Sinatra, 82. Nancy Sinatra, the famed swooner, Frank Sinatra's daughter, was famous in her own right with These Boots Are Made For Walking, an unquestionably era-defining sound. After an extraordinary career, the 80-year-old Sinatra has retired to live a calm life. Nehemiah Persoff, 102. The prolific character actor played Henry Fonda's brother-in-law in Alfred Hitchcock's The Wrong Man, Humphrey Bogart's boxing partner in The Harder They Fall, the ruthless chieftain Grail in Michael Kurtz's The Comancheros, an eccentric physicist in The Power, and a poor Jew fleeing Hitler in Voyage of the Damned. He's 102. Ric Flair, 74. Ric Flair may be the second most influential professional wrestler behind Hulk Hogan. Hip-hop musicians, politicians, and professional sports idolize his playboy character from decades in the ring. Flair has survived a plane catastrophe, brutal in-ring injuries, and severe alcohol addiction that almost killed him in 2017. 